say no to Kaizo. <laughs> Well, that's a, it's a something. I think it's, um, the done done. I'm pretty sure it's a law and order. Is this available to use? This song? Or is this a new port? Let me look this up. Now it looks like it was made by Mario Sonic for Life about a year ago. I'm not sure if it's the same one. Anyway, look what we got. Law and Order Mushroom Kingdom Unit pilot episode. Tragic Fox Tales. Daiso has been summoned. We enjoyed the, the opening credits sequence. BNK. You can clear the case. It'll open a new case in the Law and Order Mushroom Kingdom Unit. Enter case, detectives. The following story is fictional and does not depict any actual person or event. This is the story. <laughs> Sebastian Tales Prowl's Apartment 2B. Friday, June 16th, 2006 at 1.13am, west site of Contro City. A, B. Oh, I just went dung dung. Oi, is that like a power up? Like a, a hit system, maybe? Is this... Like, am I looking for clues right now? This is Tails' apartment. Oh my god, this is... This... Maurice Sonic Hedgehog. Probably should take a long bath before I have my Adderall. Probably should take a long bath before I have my Adderall. I'm sure that's how Sonic talks. <laughs> I should get a plumber to fix the toilet if I have to fill a bucket of water again. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, Sebastian, buddy. <laughs> Somebody help. Oh no. Mushroom Kingdom Unit Headquarters, Friday, June 16th, 2006 at 11.47 a.m. Middle of Contro City. Only 10 hours after. And that's what happened, man. I couldn't believe it. The thing that makes it questionable is that there's a story. <laughs> I understand this is tough for you, but are you positive this wasn't an accident? I swear on my rings, detective. Please call me Elliot. <laughs> well, Elliot, there's no way that this was an accident since he's too smart for that. He owns a mechanic shop for crying out loud. It's okay, Maurice, I'm here for you. When did you find out Sebastian was dead? Well, I don't remember the exact time, but it was around 1am this morning. I believe this is no accident. Hmm, right. If you don't believe this is an accident, do you have any idea who would do this tragic murder? The only one I know who would do this is that no good Egg King. You mean Wilson Robotnik? <laughs> That's the guy. I know for a fact he would do something like this. Very interesting. He has quite a rap sheet. However, all his crimes are minuscule and never upscale to murder. We're going to need a more. We're going to need more evidence than just to say so. Do you have anything else that can be used against Mr. Robotnik so we have probable cause? Well, I do know that Egg King went to Sebastian's shop last Wednesday at around 3:15 p.m. Seb told me himself how upset he was about the repairs, despite him trying his best. Well, usually murder doesn't happen due to possibly poor customer service, and there was no police call record around that time from his shop, so it couldn't have been that serious. But wait, there's more. Listen to what the Egg King said as he was leaving the shop. I have access because I work there on the weekends. I'll get back. I'll get you back for this, you two-tailed traitor. You'll be sorry for screwing with the Egg King. I see. Intriguing. We'll have to send this to Taru to make sure it wasn't tampered with. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. Anything I can do to help get justice for my buddy, just let me know. Thank you for your cooperation, Maurice. Here's my information just in case you have anything else you want to tell us. 
Expect contact from us in the future with more questions. Thank you so much, Elliot. I'll have my phone nearby whenever you need me. Oh, it's a me. So yeah, a law and order hack led by Scooter the Dizer helped out with. There you go. Coins. Captain Donald T. Toadsworth. Hey, Earl, I'm a bit busy right now. However, I do believe your partner needs to speak with you. Understood, Captain. Detective Olivia Peach. Wilson, hey. Now that's a suspect. Olivia, we were trying to put Robotnik behind bars for a while. This might be the clue we need to expose him for the son of a b He really is. Now, hold on just a minute there. We need to be careful here because we tried to nail this guy many times before and he always managed to get away. We sure as hell do not want to let it happen again or we will have Internal Affairs Bureau snibbling around. Finn and John have finished up the first investigation over at Sebastian's apartment. The body has been removed, so that means you two need to find out if there's any clues that were missed. Yeah, Elliot and Olivia, it's the, the law and order characters. I don't know why I know this. Do that first before going to the Egg King. That was quick, wow. Hell, Donna's right, Ed Bowser is always waiting to nail our ass somehow. If we want to get this going, we need to actually investigate further, which includes having the accurate results from T-A-R-U, whatever that is. Well, let's just go and talk to him casually and see if the Egg King will crack. Olivia, go with him. Tread carefully. We do not want our case scrambled. Again. Let's roll. Let's roll. It's a really cool Mario sprite, by the way. The MKU station. No, it's tough out on the streets. Detective Odafin Yoshi. Hello there, you two. I can't grant access to the door. That's the job of a sergeant like John. Gotcha. Thanks, Finn. Sergeant John Luigi. I'm so glad you guys made it. We want you to come inside and see for yourselves. Not watching more Sakari, are we? Give me a break. I just got to the brink of time arc. John, please focus. All right, fine. Want to show us, John? Sure, follow me. We just want a few secondary confirmations before we're good. Lead the way, old man. In we go. Suspenseful music. Oh. We'll need to investigate more before we're done, Al. All right, all right. Man, there sure is a lot of unopened gaming consoles. Yep, that's vodka, all right. No, <laughs> what gave that away? The front of the bottle? No, I mean, that's Lake Crystal Vodka. I drink that stuff at home. It's very smooth. I didn't think you drank alcohol, Elliot. Not on the job, obviously, but once a hard day at work is done, it's nice to unwind. So we know this vodka is involved somehow, especially with that empty glass. That's what I wanted to show you, yes. We also want you to confirm something else towards the bathroom. Let's -a go then. Hmm, lots of chili dogs and a half a sundae. <laughs> that sounds like tails, all right. So what was in here? Did I go everywhere yet? Yeah, 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 all right. I didn't go in these doors. A bed. Maurice sure knows how to keep this room tidy, doesn't he? There doesn't seem to be any sign of disturbance here. Perhaps we can look elsewhere. Yeah, unopened game consoles. There's clearly some sort of retro gaming market scam going on right now. I guess ever since Sebastian died, there isn't much reason to keep the room neat. The flowers are certainly nice. It's more healthy than the other ones. You certainly do learn more about a person when they're gone. Let's check elsewhere. So true. Hmm... Uh. What is, uh, it's like a, what is that icon? That's the toilet, it's a toilet, all right, the bathroom. I understand. All right. Hmm, this is Maurice's prescription of Adderall. Why would they be sitting out like that? Completely open, too. Maybe Sebastian was drugged? Yes, that's a deadly combination, all right. Have a bath with that? Oh, bye-bye for you. 
the AOSTH art for the portraits. I wonder what that is. All right, what's the Luigi? John Luigi's just hanging. Nobody used the toilet recently. I remember when John got yelled at by Ed for using a toilet during an investigation. You're never going to live that one down, are you, Elliot? <laughs> nope. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog? All right, all right. Maybe I saw that, but I didn't recognize the acronym. This was where the body was found, isn't it? The brown hairs proved to be the case. We're only confirming what we already know here. Let's try somewhere else. Let's. I like that it's kind of, is that like a shower curtain or something? It's cool. All right. Well, I don't think there's much else in the bathroom. So what about in this room? Oh, right. Hey. Confident with what we found? Well, we know the open bottle of Adderall belongs to Maurice and the empty bottle of vodka was left out by Sebastian. I have to wonder if Seb had a double whammy of both the pills and the drinking. Let's not jump to any conclusions. We've got to decide if this is a suicide or a murder. I wonder if Melinda has an update on the autopsy. John, Finn, why not check on that autopsy? Maybe the results of Taru will show up there as well. Should we look at some shops now for more possible clues? Or do we want to go talk to the big egg himself? I think we can decide on the way there. Uh-oh, seems like Maurice is home. Look out the window. You guys can finish up gathering the evidence here. We'll go talk to him. You have permission to go, you two. Great work. I did great. I investigated it. Oh, hello, detectives. I see you guys are already busy. Yes, we are. And here's our warrant that allows us to search the premises for clues. I didn't doubt this would happen. So, did you find anything? I see. So you think this is a murder still? No doubt. My prescription was not out when I left that day. I made sure of it. And you're sure Sebastian doesn't take any drugs or drinks? No, all the prescription drugs are mine and he likes to drink occasionally after a hard day's work. Yeah, who doesn't, right? Nudge. So, is there anything else you want to tell us? Drugs. That Egg King must have drugged my friend, that son of a... Well, thank you for your information and we will keep in contact. The others will finish up there soon and then no we'll drugs. get out of your... Wills. No drugs. Thanks, Terathiel. I have hairs too, Elliot, but thank you. Take the time you need. I'm going to light one on the side here. Well, let's get going then, Elliot. We need to decide where to go next. Interesting. He has quills and hair, and there was brown hair found in the bath. Couldn't agree more. He's going to go light one on the side. He's supposed to light him at the end, I think. <laughs> Drunking uh, and drugs. Are you are you one meter away from the building, to the entrance? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, Barlick J Farrow. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, J, but drunking and drugs. That was what got him in the end. If it isn't the fiercest detectives on the block, want to be even fiercer, make sure to stay in good health. Check for those hearts placed around the areas. A little love around the world can go a long way. Oh, trust me, I know how the love game work gets nudged. Awkward. Oi, what's this fella doing? Squirrely man, man, squirrely man. Hey you, word on the street is something happened in Prower residence last night. I tell you all about it for 20 coins. Oh, hi detective. What? No, I wasn't selling information. He totally was selling information. Maybe George E. Gad can handle it. Alright. George E. Gad. There's the station. But I didn't try going further to the right. Hey, who's that? Yuki EV, might you be heading to the beach today? I hear the weather is quite nice. Truth be told, I'm a little intimidated to go since the Egg King's subordinates hang there. We both know what else is over there. His mansion. Hmm. Go that way. Bacardi Beach. Off we go. Just rolling down the street. Hmm. 
I missed the song. Hopefully we get to hear it on the way back. Okay, we've got to get 20 coins. So I can pay for information, maybe. Bro, how do you get over there? Do you reckon you can just jump it? I bet you totally can. Song is actually intended for this hack? Yeah, I remember it from SMW Challenges and I think about it sometimes. Say no to Kaizo. <laughs> Hear that, kids? Stay in school. No Kaizoing. Keep a shell with you at all times. This anti Kaiser propaganda, has it gone too far? Can I go down there? Another heart? Nice. Yeah, just say no. If someone tells you to do shell jumps in Super Mario World, you can just walk away and tell an adult. Detective Olivia Peach says, he's bigger than my desk. The Egg King, Wilson Egg King Robotnik. Ah, visitors, are we doing the usual offices? I do have IAB on speed dial if this is any harassment. Oh no sir, we just want to talk. We mean no harassment to you whatsoever. Well come on in, I got the air on. In we go. Look at this mansion. It's uh, it's quite a place. A little creepy. What a handsome fellow though. He's looking um, it looks a bit like that dude, that Batman guy, whatever that guy. Yeah, you know, the big one, the kingpin. <laughs> I got there eventually. Tea? We're good, thanks. I wouldn't have minded one actually. It gets nudged. No, thank you. So what's this all about? I'm really busy today. How's the investments going? Yeah, isn't he in like, I don't know, man. He's not in Batman, is he? He's like a Spider-Man guy, I guess. You know how much I know about stuff. How's the investments going? Huh? Well, they're uh, going great, thanks. Sweeties Peeties is probably my best investment yet. Even got a good review from a local customer, according to the owner. That's great. Are you looking at new places to invest in? I haven't really thought about it yet. I had a few places cross my mind, but nothing substantial. I guess there is this one place, but I'm not telling you that since it's a trade secret. Why are you asking? What about Sebastian's Mechanics Shop? That's a nice place. Oh? Yeah, I just got my car fixed up there a few weeks ago. They did a great job. Really? Ooh. Yeah, I'm calling the... Hey, wait! <laughs> Your ass is grass. If you don't tell me what's going on. We just had a complaint about an incident at the mechanics shop involving you. We just want to clear things up for our records and have your statement. Could have started there instead of that bullcrap, you know. Well, technically... Would you mind making a statement for us just so there's no issues? I guess things are slow at work now after you cop has tried to bag me several times in the past. I guess you can say that. As long as it gets you and the damn MKU out of my hair, fine. But you're bo- Ha ha ha, wow, nothing get past you, huh, Sherlock? I mean, my mustache hair. Anyways, I went to that shop on Monday, June 12th at around 2.30pm to pick up my bike. <laughs> That, uh, the owners screwed up my bike and made it worse, not to mention he charged me more than what we agreed on. I gave that shop a pretty review on Moogle. <laughs> After inspecting the bike further, there was a slight error on one of the wheels that even I could easily fix. So I did that and updated my review to make it less harsh so it looks good to invest in. It's the recent one that I've had my eye on. That's a store and a half. Did you say anything you shouldn't have to the owner? And did he complain about you about a few swear words, detectives? He might have. 
if the dead could actually talk. He's what? He is dead. Did you not hear about this? Does it sound like I knew? How could I? I just want to get any information about the last interactions with Sebastian, sir. Oh, I see. You think I killed him. Is that it? Seriously, sir, we just want any information you can give us. One thing I can say that he's... A, one thing I can say that he's a sneaky bastard, but I don't wish death upon him or anyone. I wish I could tell you more, but I gotta get going to meet a client. Now, please, can you nudge yourselves the hell out of here, you know, so I can leave? Yes, sir. Thank you for your time, Mr. Robotnik. Here's my card if there's anything else you can tell us. Oh, of course, detectives. Crushes the card with his fist. Annoying rats. Well, it was quite a trip to get there. One more mistake and Edward would shoot us out. Let's consider ourselves lucky that we're still alive. If the rumors are true. So we're, we're solving mysteries. It is not Kaizo. Um, in fact, you should say no to Kaizo if anyone comes up and asks. Oops, I've made a grave error, but that's okay. There's an extra mushroom right here. Oh, an extra heart, sorry. Doing a Triforce collectathon, got to 15 out of 20, we need to pick it up some other time. It's quite a collectathon. Where's that say? Yeah, here we go. Say no to Kaizo. Really, uh, it's really catchy, that one. Okay, so we've got to head back from the beach. Head back into town. Find out what's going on. What happened to Olivia? Where'd she go? You missed the first? The first thing was like... An overworld uh, ROM hack. So, like, imagine you can only have overworld movement, but there's also enemies to dodge and other puzzles to solve. There's the song. Detach that Wheatley core. I heard someone mentioning something about that. Yeah, it was good. It was, um, you know, no judges here. But it was, uh, it was MM102 and Faro. I just, I just like that she goes full acrobatic when I slide. It's so good. Why does she, she just doesn't know how to go down slopes? Is this, <laughs> talk to Sonk. Is this Sonk? No. That's right, I didn't, I didn't bother, I didn't bother Sonic. Yeah, she can't go on slopes. Oops, I accidentally talked her again. Oh, she just does a big jump. Yeah, so if I stand here, she'll just constantly do acrobatics. Did I try going in here? I didn't. Let's talk to Sonic. Just, Sonic's looking a bit down. <laughs> what? I need a way to take in what's happening. Oh no, do whatever you need to do, Maurice. Soon everything will be figured out. I appreciate it, detectives. There we go. So, we've got to go back to the... Um, Go back to the station, right? Hang on, there's more stuff over here. Oh my god, is it true, Mr. Detective? Huh? Is what true? I heard Sebastian was murdered last night. By the way, to catch you up, Miles, sorry, Sebastian Tails Prower um, was murdered and we, and we need to solve the case. Oh, they will pay. Oh, how did you find that out? One of the bandits filled me in. Oh, this is horrible. Sebastian was such a nice lad. Always so helpful to me. <laughs> Makes you wonder who did it. I don't know, but we're on the case. Don't worry about a thing. Sheesh, those bandits have big mouths. They do, don't they? Yeah. 20 coins? I don't have 20 coins. And, uh, pretty sure I don't have 10, 20 coins. I think I have maybe 10 or 11 or something. Anyway, Kevin McLander, grr, that rotten, is everything alright, sir? Somebody broke into my apartment last night and stole my furniture. Oh, might you have any leads to who could have done it? 
I bet you one of Egg King's goons had something to do with it. He's always dictating and striking fear to everyone's minds in this city. He's not wrong about Egg King, but why would he need furniture? He has a mansion. Kevin M? <laughs> Maybe it was Kevin M. Oh boy. I'd love to get on up there and talk to that bandit. You reckon you can peace feed it? Bro, you can. A donut. So, that fox finally kicked the bucket, eh? Bet you it was that big egg guy. This guy seems to suspect Egg King too. I wonder if there's a reason to keep moving forwards. And, uh, oh, we can stand on the lines. I wonder what's in those blocks then. Just a couple more coins? Alright. Uh... Tramius Todenberg. Good day, detectives. You seem to be in an awfully good mood today, Mr. Todenberg. Why, of course, the city is the safest place in the world. No pesky wildlife to deal with. You know, Elliot, we should request a clean up at the beach area. That would help everyone feel safer. Ah, uh, first things first, Liv, we have a murder to solve. We do. I go in there. Who's this fella? Morsel Grassen. Heading to the park, detective. You might want to strap up because it's been quite hostile there lately. How does that Peter ever expect to have good business with all those animals running about? Not to mention those prices. Are a ripoff. It's that bad, huh? Alright, park time. Just jamming. Heading to Padrino Park. There we go. Can we bop you? We can, all right. Can we spin you? Yes. Sleeping Goomba? Oh my god, he's got shades? He's a schmoover too? Alright. Boing, boing. Stop! Good idea. Frog gate. Those Goomba goons are up to no good. So we'd want to, we'd probably want to get up there, hey. If I can get the Rexes to respawn the other direction. Or I just go up. That works. FR. Yeah, well look, he said it was dangerous. He said to strap on or whatever. He said I should be strapping headed to this park. Yo, who's this? Sloot Baitakuk Yoshi. The bar isn't open right now, but if you come by tomorrow, it'll be packed. Do you have any info on where Sebastian Prowl was in the past week? I mean, the fox, I saw him go to Sweetie's Peedies the other day. It's just up ahead. Thank you very much. Don't you worry about a thing, sugar. That bouncer. <laughs> Sorry about your bouncer. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, you got to strap. You need got to be strapping when you go to this park, is what uh, that that fella said. Sweeties, peeties, coins, coins, coins. I don't think I'll side exit yet. Assuming there's a side exit. Try not to press up. If I, when I meet Peter, try not to press up in front of his face. All right, I will try not to. Cherry pie, 50. Apple pie, 40. Cupcake, 25. I didn't press up in front of his face. But like, so I want to be like, I don't want to cover him up. That's what you're saying. Peter Parkingston. 
Welcome to Sweeties Peeties Lads. I'm Peter Parkinson and I'll be at your service today. How, how can I help you? I have cakes, burritos filled with candy. Here's a popsicle I made out of an apple. <laughs> no, thank you. We're here for investigation purposes. Oh no, the weed got caught up with me, didn't it? We don't care if you smoke, Mr. Parkingston. We're looking for some evidence about the death of Sebastian Tails Prower, and we were just wondering if you knew anything about it. Actually, he was here last week. I gave him the double bananas chocolate covered sundae and he left a positive review about it. The Egg King will appreciate my business going smoothly considering the recent negotiations. Made to my place. I can't believe the poor lad is dead though. I liked him. Your company is owned by the Egg King? Yes, that's what I said. Hmm. We need to know more details on when he came in. Do you have a specific day or time he arrived? Or... I always keep tabs on each customer who comes in. Hold on. Oh, off he goes. He's out. You and Pauline doing all right? Eh, it could be worse. We're struggling on the bills as of late. Yeah, I'm not doing much better. Captain really needs to give us a raise. I'm back. He was here on Tuesday, June 13th at around 4.25 p.m. Thank you for the specific date and time, sir. Is there anything else you can tell us about Sebastian? I don't know him very well, but he's been to my shop and I've sort of been to his shop a few times. He seemed very nice. I recommended him to the Egg King when he was asking me about investing in other places. That's great. Thank you very much. We'll definitely have to come by and try your delicious food outside of these circumstances. Don't blame you. I make the best sweets in the business. Come by any time. It'll be on me. Mmm, chocolate cannoli. Sounds good. I have all three clues right now. So I can go back to the, uh, back to the station, but a pipe. Oh, and that takes me to the left side of the park. It does that dialogue patch usually freeze all like sprites and stuff. Alright, so you talk to everyone here. And back to the station. You can hug the walls, really. I think we have all the clues we need. Let's -a go and talk to Captain. Too late? Oops. <laughs> Uh, if you hug the walls, there's probably something floating around then, maybe some secrets. I agree, let's head in. Mushroom Kingdom Unit Headquarters, Friday, June 16th, 2006 at 8.44pm, middle of Contro City. Donk, donk. I see, I see, the doctor is here to report about the autopsy. Any findings, Melinda? We have an update down at the morgue and this will surprise you. Sebastian is alive. Wait, what? It was when I was about to leave with a report of his blood alcohol content and drug test. He woke up after coughing up a lot of water. How in the... What? You seem more shocked than usual, Olivia. Well, yeah, it's been how long? It's a miracle indeed. There have been cases where people survived up to 24 hours after drowning. One possible theory is that him drinking a lot has probably saved him with water being soaked up in there, but that's never been proven. What were the results of the tests, Doctor? His blood alcohol content was 0.15% and no drugs in his system. 0.15, that's probably a lot. No drugs, uh, that's suspicious. Why would the cap be opened at his place? That's not anything I can answer. All I know is he's in the ICU at the hospital recovering. He's got a long road ahead of him, but it looks good. He's able to talk, but no recollection about what happened. Alcohol does that to you. Would you stop that? What? All right, fine. We better talk to Maurice and finish this case up. I have a feeling he's not being 100% truthful. Well, go ahead. Thank you, Melinda. You're welcome. Good luck with the case, detectives. Sebastian's alive? Shockingly, yes. This is not a case we've dealt with before. He is at the clinic in the ICU right now. 
Oh my god, I gotta go see him right now. Wait just a minute there, buddy. We need to ask you some questions to finish this case up. Okay. So, you claim that Egg King murdered him with your prescription drugs since you had them put away. That's right, they were put away in the mirror. There were no drugs in his system from the records, plus nobody's handprints are on that capsule. But yours. Oh. What's more, Sebastian put in a positive review for the business that Egg King owns called Sweetie's Peaties. Mr. Robotnik also made a change to his review on Moogle in Sebastian's mechanics shop after realising a small error on the bike. It turns out that it was easily fixable after the security tape shows him talking about revenge. There wasn't even a break in at the crime scene that would suggest it was Egg King. Or anybody, really. I gotta ask, what are you trying to pull? All right, fine. I knew you guys were after that fat bastard. <laughs> fat bastard. So when my buddy drowned, I figured I'd try to blackmail Egg King. I legitimately thought he did it. Though, just to make sure, I left my drugs out with the cap opened. I had my gloves off, which was my first mistake. But Sonic never takes his gloves oh, Maurice, he seems to never have his gloves off. Your first mistake? Okay, I shouldn't have done a lot of those things, but you know in your hearts that the Egg King deserves to rot in jail for all the crime trafficking he's done. There's never been any hard evidence for that to be true. You do realise that, right? Yes, but... Enough. Maurice, Sonic, Hedgehog, I'm afraid you are under arrest for fabricating physical evidence, frame-up, and obstruction of justice. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights I have just read to you? With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me? No, sir, I understand. All right, let's go. Say goodbye to your buddy because you're not seeing him for a long time. Can I, though? Nope, but you can send a postcard. Yeah, in about 30 years. Peace. And so, Maurice Sonic Hedgehog is in prison for the next 30 years. The lesson today is don't use your dead friend as an opportunity to take down a criminal, even if they might be guilty. Uh, the drugs weren't there in the first loop. Hmm. Credits. Thank you for playing slash watching the entry. Us at the Major Case Squad have had this idea since 2014, but unfortunately we haven't had the proper skill to make this idea a reality until this questionable level design contest. First off, there are many people worth thanking. That was a, a, quite a thing. Hey, uh, hey, we're not supposed to reveal ourselves. All oh, right. I guess we can confirm that there's three of us, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But you know, they could always find out when the results come out. For sure. Voice actors. Yeah, it's us again. Well, to be fair, the one song did have lyrics from Harry 101 UK. Oh, you mean the one song that's supposed to be in the bar Salute Yoshi was talking about? Yes, that one. Wait, we're having a bar in the next episode? You bet. Though, wait, if this entry has voice acting, yeah, we seem to be the only ones kind of doing that, aren't we? <laughs> subtle. Real subtle, guys. Okay, okay. How about some real credits? Let's go. There we go. <laughs> always fun to have a look at a Scooter Daiso um, collab. Something from the, the, the team that doesn't stop. Yeah, weird. I wonder who could have written a hack who wrote a small novel. <laughs> I mean, we know that it's not by any of these people that were named, so we're just crossing off potential makers. Testers and lab rats. Here they are. And me. <laughs> Am Hunter Farrow, Pat CDR, and Stego. Inspiration. Duncan Romper, Ace Attorney, Spider-Man, Netflix, Daredevil, and Super Mario, as well as the obvious Law and Order SVU. The Sonic Hedgehog series, Secret of Mana, me! <laughs> Joz Cook, his hate for stories only makes us stronger. Yep, yeah, I bet he loves reading. As much, more than I do. Yeah, insert resources by as many other authors as possible so that uh, the only remaining people are the authors. And finally, my wife. 
<laughs> yeah, who's? Yeah. When we made an entry based on a project we already teased. We weren't exactly subtle to begin with. We couldn't. We could have hired another team to build it from scratch. I mean, that other demo didn't have this health system. The health system nearly killed me. I hope you're not. A thanks, Uber Asim Tool. Isn't that health system from. Shh. Hey. You know it's kind of questionable to put all these names in the special thanks spot? No kidding, nobody puts as much effort to research every composer and director of all the resources. So true. Yeah, you're the one to talk, Mr. Effort. Yeah, just Sonic is about to bust a dab in jail. You can kindly shut the... Uh, guys, I think we're running out of space in the ROM. Do we put this in like a bloopers or something? Nah, screw it. It's a cure DC. Nobody gives a sh story in a Mario game? Oh my word. Yeah, like Mario hasn't had a story before. Okay. I think we had our fun. Let's stop and thank everyone else for coming. But we did that already. Well, thank you again. But it's not over just yet. We still have a teaser for you guys. For now, the end. What a tragic tale. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, you're so funny. Wait, who the hell are... Well, that's very unfortunate. We could have had it too, if he had not been so damn eager. Sometimes, though, justice has to come before our feelings, even if he is a gigantic prick. The Egg King will get his time, though. Elliot's phone rings and he puts it on speaker to hear someone sniffling on the line. Oh, hello? Um, hey guys, I wanted to tell you guys this personally since you two are my best friends. I don't know who else to talk to, huh? What is it, John? You know my wife, Gwen Daisy, right? Well, she was murdered in cold blood. <gasps> the end. The pilot has officially ended. Thanks for playing episode one. Coming soon. What an asshole! <laughs> and that was, uh, that was quite a ride. I, um, it was fun to follow the story. It seemed like it was non-linear as well. I don't know if you were supposed to go to the park first. But I didn't. The only reason I think that is because when I went to the mansion on the right, they were talking about sweeties, the sweetie bar thing that uh, that Peter uh, works at. But I think you can go either way, which is cool. Fair bit of non-linearity, yeah. You can actually go to the bathroom first, then drinks, and also park, then beach. Yeah. Well, there we go. We've uh, we cracked the case. It turns out it was Maurice. After all, trying to, I mean, just, just trying to frame the, the dude, trying to frame the egg boy. Well, that was quite fun. I, love, I usually don't, I don't usually play games like that. So it was fun to do that in the context of Super Mario World. <laughs>